19 minutes now past 5 a.m. as we turn to the forecast. Live look over downtown Detroit. All clear and quiet. And now after, whoo, man, quite the thunderstorm and severe weather overnight. It rolled through Michigan and you can see the damage from the suspected tornado in Marshall on the west side of the state, part of the same system that brought storms to Metro Detroit overnight. As we show you, Calhoun County is where Marshall's located right there southeast of Battle Creek. Now that was again from some big storms that rolled through overnight. Seven first alert meteorologist Mike Taylor is here with a look at the radar and Mike, we're still in a transition period here. Do we have more storms on the way today? We have a few storms. We'll call them leftovers that are moving through right now, but we are severe clear. Happy to say no watches or warnings to speak of, but we still have a storm around Port Sanilac and also near Monroe, but even those are pushing off towards the east. The grand scheme of things, you'll see the storms that came through last night, the leftovers on in Metro Detroit right now. And if you look west of Grand Rapids, we also have snow. So just over the last four hours, we have severe weather, plain old rain and cold enough to snow as far as the weather goes out near Grand Rapids. Let's take you into Detroit right now. 63 degrees currently, 62 in Monroe with a few showers passing through. That storm in Port Sanilac's lifting off towards the north. So temps near 60 right now, but man, are they going to crash later on? You could already see the distinction. We may be in the 60s here, but look at Marquette. They're at seven. So just in about 390 miles, you see about a 56 degree temperature swing. And here's a look at how it plays out for us. Over the next 36 hours, the warmth of this morning will fade and we'll have that winter fill returning for today, tonight and the start of your Thursday. And then we get right back into the 40s on Thursday as temperatures recover. So it's an interesting bus stop forecast. Uh, the kids, they'll need the coat for this morning, but they'll just have to take it with them because I'm thinking with temps in the 60s, it'll be fairly mild. It's the ride home when it gets windy and much colder that they're going to actually need that jacket that they take this morning. Same thing with us as well. There's also a wind advisory. Don't want to forget about this wind gust up to 45 miles per hour or greater today as that colder air comes in in a hurry. But where we go from here, we recover as early as Friday. We get the 50s back in here, pushing the 60s through the weekend and highs near 70 by Monday.